well we uh went ahead and took a trip to the lake i'm at my lake house um my, my lake house we're about an hour and 15 20 minutes from from denton and uh we're up here at lake nocona and uh but the the job is here in in nocona so we're gonna spend the night here save ourselves about an hour save ourselves about an hour or so so I say save us, get to sleep another hour. 4 a.m. mud, we'll get up at 2 a.m. Whereas if I was in Denton, I'd get up at 1 a.m. to be here. So. That'll be nice. But, um, yeah, that's what we're doing. It was an inter interesting conversation with the guy, the neighbor up the street. I had never met him before. Grew up here all my life. I say I grew up, grew up here all my life. Still growing. <laughs> Just out. <laughs> Not any taller. But, uh, but I imagine in the morning we'll do the proper introduction of, hey, how's it? How are y'all? Good morning. And we're setting up on another one and all that good stuff. But we're going to, it's dry, 100 degrees. We're going to put a little water on the grass. I probably ought to mow. But it's a rare treat, you know, to get to get to come up here and come pump on and you know spend the night. Uh, so probably one of my most favorite places in the world to be out here. So hopefully when the retirement end comes, this is where we'll be. So, let's walk down. I don't know. We'll walk down. Grass, yeah. Grass needs a little mowing. Walk down here and see what the yard, let's see what the bushes. I may need to water the bushes. We got a pretty good rain Sunday. They look pretty good. Might use a little drink. I may wait. We're gonna spend the night out here this weekend. We're gonna stay. So we do need to mow. No doubt about it. But yeah, if you look at some of my fishing videos on Muddy Feet TV, uh, you know this this is where most of them are, except the ones you know we did opposite the coast, which is about 400 miles from here. But and this is a work in progress. Um, eventually I like to replace this dock with something else. Um, but it's still, that's my grandmother's place. My parents and aunt and uncle own it. And then my parents have this place right next to me, which they just got it. And we're, we've got plans to work on it and redo it. So, but I poured this wharf. I poured it uh, two or three years ago and the sidewalks and the patio up here. I used to pour concrete That's and, and I still pour my own stuff and finish it. So give you an idea. And I've got some friends here that you will we'll pump with them tomorrow, Matt and his brothers. They help me pour a lot of this stuff. Eventually this mud hole right here, when it rains, we're going to, work with it and it's, we're gonna try to make an outdoor kitchen sitting area and a shower and a restroom here. So, but anyway, uh, that may be it. Uh, I gotta get the truck ready. It just needs a couple of things. And oh, trash some things like that but i don't know i've got half a mind to go make a fishing video we'll just see we'll see what how we get on time 
and all that but other than that if we don't we'll, we'll talk to you in the morning if we go fishing we'll talk to you after a while so see you in a little bit well good morning i guess you can tell we didn't go crappie fishing we went and mowed the yard instead got it ready as you can tell We tried to get the sun up, but they didn't want to participate this morning, so we brought our own sunshine. It's 3 a.m. It's about 4 a.m. mud, so anyway. Okay. We're a little early because we stayed here in town, but anyway, we'll get set up, get ready to go, maybe drink a little coffee. Now, I know you city boys like to wear them rubber boots, but out here in the country, they just go barefooted. That way they can pick the steel up with their toes. See how long them toes are? <laughs> I shouldn't say anything. At least he's got all of his. One thing about it, we're all not gonna, we won't need any universal precaution out here. This ground out here is it's harder than woodpecker lips. It's, We barely left the track in the dust. Other than these light plants, we got a power line probably about 60 feet over here to our, our left our left or driver's side, whatever you want to call it. So we should not be over there. But we always need to be aware of any overhead obstruction. Sure, get you in a pickle on a power line. Got our morning safety meeting going on over there. We come through town this morning. There was the on at the marquee at the bank does the time and everything the temperature at 245 was 85 degrees on the bank marquee so humidity is about 115 percent it don't take much of sweat out here right now but this is what we got we got a, looks like this is as square as it could be house with a eight foot porch around three sides of it i think there's gonna be a breezeway right here and maybe the, the garage right here that's why there's nothing why there's not a porch on this side but i know this country out here and then kind of tell them about the tops of the trees and stuff that they're gonna have a nice view but we'll see here in a little bit It'll be daylight here in about two hours so not a bad setup
50 yards. So, I, a little over halfway, I think. I got, they're thinking 80 and a heavy tag on that. See how we look back here. Uh, just a little over, I don't bring nothing. Look at all them crickets. Crickets everywhere. They like these lights. All right. Well, uh, get a battery and a swig of coffee and hopefully the truck up on the road. I don't it looks like it's got his running running lights off, but his headlights are on. I don't know what that guy's doing. There's no telling. Uh, anyway, let's change the batteries. Get ready for the next round. Yeah, that's about all we got left. Guess I should have turned y'all after I put the battery in, I should have turned y'all back on. I didn't do it. I got a gasket dripping between my first and second. We're going to have to replace it today. It's getting on the truck. I don't like those drips on my truck. I hope y'all can see it. All the cricket trails and the concrete where the crickets are flying around, landing out there and walking across it. There's trails everywhere. on a tag now sun's not quite up yet there's a little, little bit of a cloud out maybe it'll be a, a hundred today instead of a hundred and three Appreciate it, you do. So, anyway, thank y'all for watching. Talk to you later.